Hello guys, this is the introduction video to my tutorial series on Unity Editor Scripting. Unity Editor Scripting is in my opinion one of the most powerful tools offered by the Unity Engine and still it's the most underutilized. The main reason for this is that you don't need too much of editor scripting if you are working alone on a project. It really arises on medium to large projects and if you are working with someone else even in a team of two and larger groups all the powerful asset packages on the asset store they all use editor scripting to enhance their assets they are used by all the big and medium teams to increase productivity the main benefit of using editor scripting is it will save your time you can create awesome tools which will aid you in making awesome games you can uh, remove many tedious processes like doing a same thing over and over again you can create a simple tool which will do those things for you it is also very helpful to create artist friendly interface for your scripts it is also very useful for creating interactive application inside unity so that your design process is uh, real time and iterative so you can regularly very quickly iterate over your designs because the tools to iterate quickly are exposed to the artist so he can really fiddle with your script quickly over and over again until he finds the perfect balance in your script and make the game wonderful so these are the main topics inside unity editor scripting that i will talk in this video series the first one is custom inspectors custom inspectors are your inspector for your classes that you see inside your unity editor so here what we are mainly looking for is arranging how your classes how your variables looks look inside the unity default editor you can also add buttons to your script to your classes so that you can do little jobs right inside the unity editor you don't have to go into the play mode there are many things that you can do right inside the edit mode in unity the next uh, subtopic is editor windows editor windows are uh, those small dockable windows that are mainly used to create tools that help you in developing games the third topic is handles and gizmos handles or gizmos are those little tools like the uh, transform tool that you see inside the scene view which is used to move your any object in x y or z direction and things like that they help in level creation and also in assets like curvy where you have to move your node so these things can be really simplified using handles and gizmos and the last and a little bit advanced topic is property and decorated drawers these are used to create your custom attributes so that you can uh, define how your classes are drawn inside the unity inspector so you define a property draw once and for a class and then you can use that attribute for the, uh, uh, whenever the class is used in any other script similar to that is the decorator drawers they are used to uh, make your inspector pretty with things like spaces giving space between two variables in your inspector and other things like color and basically decorating your inspector so that it's more legible more artistic friendly and easy to use now I will talk about uh, and give you some examples of how editor scripting has been used by the most popular assets on the asset store. So starting from Playmaker. So the whole FSM editor window that is the node based uh, finite state machine editing window. It is created using editor scripting. This is a editor window and all these small buttons that nodes going from here to there they are they are small little windows and the connection these things can be made using editor scripting so this node based system that means you are going from one node to other you can put a conditional statement from uh, branching out nodes 
uh, on a condition all these things are not only useful in playmaker but you get it is also used in the dialogue system which is a wonderful asset for creating dialogues inside unity so the conditional branching out of the dialogues is made possible using unity editor scripting now we come to master audio another awesome asset for managing audio in your game so all these things uh, nice buttons these colorful buttons and this widgets that you see uh, it is an example of custom inspector which is made possible using editor scripting the next example in front of me is the ngui which was the most famous form of making ui before unity gui came out so here we can see the buttons to adjust your the adjustment widget where you can change the depth of your sprite etc so all these is done using the custom inspector next we have uh, the popular asset the curvy tool to make nodes very easily inside unity so the these individual nodes are adjusted using handles and gizmos that is the third topic that we are going to talk about these buttons inside your scene view they are also created using editor scripts the last topic that i have is of the property drawers and the decorated drawers so this is uh, on the left what we have is how these classes look without any property drawers and on the right we have applied property drawers to our classes this is the official example from unity documents pages finally i will give you an example of how i have used editor scripting in one of my projects so this is the game that we have recently released a trailer of i will give you the link in the description i want you to pay special notice to this particular enemy so the behavior of this enemy is right so the behavior of this enemy is that it moves from a node to the second node and it shoots three bullets in three fixed directions and when it dies it explodes and if the player is in a given radius the player will be damaged now we'll go inside the actual unity project and show where the editor scripting is used to design this particular enemy so here is the here this enemy in the unity project which is quite similar to the enemy that you saw in the trailer let's start with the gun for this enemy so the gun is actually represented by three angles which are measured from the x axis and uh, on these angles the enemy will shoot a gun based on his cooldown so to make things easier for the artist what i have done is based on these angles i have drawn a little red line which denotes the angle at which the bullet will go this is done using the handles from editor scripting next we come to the movement for this uh, the movement script of this enemy so the movement of this enemy is very simple it goes from a node a to node b to node c and then back to node a so the number of nodes is uh, is a variable you can define any number of nodes and to help visualize the artist where the enemy is going to go inside the level all these nodes are represented by a blue dot with a link between the next node so while he is designing the level he can actually see inside the scene where the animal is going to go, uh, where the sorry where the enemy is going to go so this really helps in laying out enemies inside the level so the third behavior of this enemy was is that when it dies it explodes and if the player is within a certain range he will be damaged so to uh, make that behavior i have given a given a little handle which controls the explosion radius uh, when this enemy dies uh, the uh, radius till which the damage will occur to player if the player is inside that radius so here you can see a little radius handle which controls the explosion radius this variable that you see in the explosion controller script so this was an example of a handle now coming to the audio controller for this enemy audio controller component so the audio for all these enemies 
is made using the master audio and master audio has given this very beautiful input method to input the sound clips that you want to play at any event so the ordinary way would be to give a string name of the sound clip what master audio has done is that they have uh, made a property drawer for the of a type sound clip so what it does it it automatically fetches all the sound clips that has been added in the scene and it will give you a nice drop down list of all the possible sound effects so you don't have to remember the sound names and still there still you can enter the the sound name string if you remember it but uh, this handy drop down is very helpful when you are designing the level so now coming to some editor windows example so they are mostly used for creating tools to save your time and various productivity things that can be done inside the project the first example that i can show you is the bug reporter window so this helps uh, this was done to speed up the process of reporting bugs what it does it it's it automatically saves the time the scene number and where the player was and all the other details that uh, that otherwise you have to do it by hand so it automates a lot of things and it also has the function of saving the screenshot so that you know exactly where the error happened so this was made using the editor windows and all these buttons are made using editor scripting the next tool is the nifty animator tool window so what it does it as the game went on the total number of enemies types of enemies increased so what the artist had to do was to create this complex animator structure for all the all those enemies since the behavior was quite similar between them i created a tool so that you can create all this diff, uh, this complex animator structure all these parameters and all the links have the conditions set to them to automate this process i created a animator tool so you just have to give it a name <coughs> and all the animation clips this was a since this was a 2d platformer so all the animation clips are the sprite uh, sprite sheets so you give the sprite animations in the respective field and it will create a nice animator for you with all those parameters and everything set up for you so you don't have to do that thing over and over again the last uh, the last little tool is the count lines this one was not created by me but it's so good i use it in all of my projects this small tool will quickly count lines in all your script files here it's not very useful because there are a number of scripts from the third party assets but in your other project the smaller projects you can always keep a tab if uh, one of your scripts is getting too big it will be very hard to manage so you can always come here and count your number of lines i also use it to at the end of the day to count how many lines that i have written on a unity project so this was a brief rundown of how uh, the assets on the asset stores are using editor scripting to increase the productivity of their tools i also gave you examples from a live project of how i have used the editor scripting for making a enemy in my game and also gave you examples of how editor windows can be used to make tools to automate a lot of things and to save your time